647, thank you very much indeed for staying with Morning Live. Now let's stay with politics and as the ANC elective conference draws near, the deadline for branches to nominate their respective candidates is on Wednesday. Presidential hopefuls are pulling out all the stops to get the nod from branches and the SABC's Alderan Sampir spoke to Lindy Wesesulu on what she is offering. Slates are a very limited, uh, in some cases self-serving, uh, let me, you know, I'll scratch your back, you scratch my yeah. back and get, uh, get, get uh, the, the, you know, your, um, your, support. your support and get your branch on, on behind me. Mm -hmm. And it has, been, it, it has been the root of factions. And the more factionalized the ANC is, the, the less possibility there is of us coming together at the end of it and moving forward a much more renewed and uh, reinvigorated. The invariably, when slates win or a slate win, the slate that does not, or the slates that do not win, suffer despondency. And in some cases, the despondency becomes so extreme that people walk away. We've seen so many people walk away. We've seen COPE walk away in large numbers. And um, they walked away almost in anger. They got to the space of COPE, discovered that actually our roots are in the ANC. Everything we're saying and believe in is back in the ANC. So it would be better for us to, to go back. But in the meantime, we lost them. Do you think that possibility still is there of another well, um, breakaway? No, we are working towards making sure there is no breakaway. What we're also further working towards is making sure that those people who broke away out of despondency, we are able to attract. Mm -hmm. We're saying we want to rebuild the ANC, to revive the ANC, and those people who belong to the ANC. See, the ANC, the advantage that the ANC has is that it is a family. It's not like, I don't know what happens in the DA. But within the ANC, it actually is a family that goes back to 1912. And all of us that believe in the, in, in, in the, in the Freedom Charter belong to this family. We relate to each other. We call each other comrades. We don't say so-and-so, Mr. Stewart or Mr. Malema or whatever. We are comrades. And comrades mean the, that person for whom I'm able to give up everything, that person for whom I would die to make sure that that person has a better life. So ours I would find ha has a higher connectivity, has a higher, um, you know, passion around the, the, the objectives as opposed to any other party. And those people who have left the ANC have invariably found that their passion is left behind in the ANC. And we want to open our doors and say, look, if in any way we have done anything that uh, you may not have liked, we're opening our doors and together we can do it so much better. And we owe it to the younger generation to come together to clear up any mess that we may have created and make it better for them. On the, on the, on the issue of slates, um, what do you make of uh, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa? How did I know you were going to get there? How did I know you were going to get uh, no, there? No, not at all. You didn't know it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I started my campaign, it was um, uh, long after the two con other contenders, um, Minister Nkosas, uh, Dr. Nkosas and Lamini Zuma and Cyril had already started. And I, I, it was a deliberate uh, strategy, and I made it very clear, that these two factions are going to get us in the same place where Bolubane... Who are the two factions? The, 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 the two candidates will have two, two uh, uh, constituencies behind them are going to get us in the Why same... Why do you refer to them as factions? Well, because a faction is a group of people that believes in a particular uh, way of doing things and they are led by a particular leader. Okay? And I think that within the ANC, for as long as you believe in an individual as opposed to the principles of the ANC, for me that is a faction. Uh, I, and I made it very clear that my job would be, I, I would be happiest if I'm able to break the break these two because we belong together. Invariably we will end up together. Beyond 20, 2017 we will still be you know, running around uh, wanting people to vote for the same ANC. Uh, and so I deliberately wanted to make sure that my communication, my message is that it is, we, we, we are one people. We uh, come from a culture where we decided that the ANC, black people and Indian people and white people who had the same vision would unite 
and make sure that we break the barriers of apartheid and oppression and, and, and bring liberty to our country. And this is what I'd like to see in the ANC. This is what I'd like to hand over to the young generation. Um, so I made it very, very clear that I am not part of any slates, I'm not part of any two groups. I am standing on my own on principle and that principle, principle is a renewed Freedom Charter. Have, has any one of these two, what you call factions, have mm. approached you and tried mm. to co-opt you into, I don't know, what must I call it, their factions or their slates? Okay, okay now, what happened is we have tended to be led by the media and call what we're doing a campaign. And I've been at pains to explain that we're not campaigning. We are all comrades. We are all friends to the extent that uh, we, we've, we lived our lives, the better part of our lives together. Uh, actually, no, we are all friends. But what we stand for might differ from one person to the other. Uh, but we're not fighting against each other. We're not opposed to each other. Uh, so we, we meet and we talk and uh, I tease them about their campaigns and um, I tease Nko Sazana about the stress she's going through. She says, well, look at you. I mean, you lose any more kilos, there'll be nothing left of you. And so we get on. Uh, so if any, there's any perception out there that we are at each other's throats, it's completely wrong. But have they approached you? Um, no, they didn't approach me. I saw my name on their list. On Comrade Cyril's list. So I said, but you know, um, uh, said to his people, technically this would be one way of decampaigning somebody else by almost um, colonizing them. At a time when we're talking of decolonization, I find my I'm colonized by Comrade Cyril. And he says, no, um, actually, I think that uh, the, the, there must have been something wrong in the communication. This is not what we intended to do. But it, it had been running along, you know. And I said, look, you know, what I worry about is that the message of patriarchy is getting sedimented. Because you're a man and I'm a woman, I must be your deputy. Why, if they think that we're speaking the same language, why do they not make you the deputy and me the president? And he says, oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. I said, fine, on my list, you're the deputy and I'm the president. And then if that is the case, then I will be your deputy, but only on that, on that equality basis. If we don't emphasize equality, we're reproducing the same stereotypes, the same patriarchy that has existed in our society. And I think that South Africa is ready for change. And that change could be a female. That change is in many other ways, but it would be good for Cyril to be my deputy.